Hi everyone, Ivan is here, and I've seen that you watched my previous video. Thanks for that, and let me know in the comments what kind of themes are you interested in, and probably I will create more videos based on these themes. In today's video, I will show you the 5 most useful features of LSP that you have to use in your NeoVim, and a small bonus in the end. So, and the first feature of LSP, the code actions. So my cursor stays on the service annotation and then I use the command vmlsp booth code action and then press enter and immediately code actions appeared on the screen. I will choose the first one, import service, and it's immediately imported from the Spring framework. And now I want to implement abstract payment service, but I don't know what kind of methods I have to implement and code actions will help even with this case. Invoke the command one more time and now press 5. Then select what do you want to implement. I want to implement pay and I want to implement refund. And then press exit. And immediately two methods have been implemented. Now to send notifications, I want to use something like SMS service. Oh, this is just interface and I want to see the whole implementation of it. cursor is on the interface name and then I invoke the command and the LSP shows the two implementation local SMS service and SMS service. They can choose one of them for example the SMS service and they jumped here so I invoke the Qt command. The file has a very specific formatting. Let's format it to the standards and now invoke the command to formatting. It's immediately formatted all of our spaces. Now I want to check who is using send SMS function. So move there and invoke the command. You can move the JK up and down. Now you see send SMS function is used in notification service. So select and press enter. Now I want to check what kind of parameters should I send inside of this function. So jump to the service name and invoke command LSP booth definition. And you immediately jumped to notification service. Now I see a user title and message. So go back. and you select class from your CMP, it's immediately imported. I finish with this method, but I want to do a small refactoring thing. Here I see the beard send normal email name. I want to rename this function. Your cursor stays on the name of this element, and then you invoke the command rename. Now I want to remove the normal word here and press enter. Let's check it out. Go to the definition abstract email service, to the send email function, and a bonus to check all implementations or references, you can use a telescope plugin. So let's invoke the telescope function LSP references. Now you immediately see the all references where the send email is used, but it's not renamed everywhere. Why? because you have to store your buffer on the disk. Let's do this. Write this file, write the notification file, write the email file. And let's invoke this command one more time. And now it's renamed everywhere. Let's open abstract SMS service. Search for implementations. And now we have two implementation, SMS service and local SMS service. It's way more easier to move around to the telescope. Okay. Let's conclude. Today you learned how with LSP to do the code actions, how to format your code, how to find your definitions, how to show implementations and references, 
and how to rename some functions or classes and how to use a telescope on top of your LSP. So a quick feature, install one more plugin, LSP signature, then go java.lua and inside of your unattached function insert a simple configuration of the LSP signature. With this plugin inside of the payment service, if I want to send a large notification, I don't need to go to the definition of the send large notification function. I see the help on top of that. So I use the user, title, and then message. And the last thing worth to mention, you have to put all of these commands inside of your key mappings, how I did. Now you can see all of these LSP features inside of my configuration of the NeoVim with this function, API and Vim set key map. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Please press the like button, subscribe, and see you next time.